welcome you back in my geography class today we shall continue with the chapter of the coastal plains and islands of class 4 social studies in our last video we have discussed about the coastal plains we have discussed about the location of the coastal plains and we have also discussed about the division of the western coastal plains and the eastern coastal plains now as we have read in the chapter that the southern plateau is surrounded by the narrow coastal plains on the western and the eastern side and they are called the western coastal plains and the eastern coastal plains now we will also see that there are so many islands in the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal like the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the Lakshadweep Islands. So today we will discuss about the islands. We will discuss about the two island groups which is another physiographic division of our country India. So first let us know what do you mean by island. What are islands? Island. What is an island? A landmass. That is surrounded on its all sides by water. So what is an island? A landmass that is surrounded on its all sides by water is called an island. So as I told you that there are so many islands in the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal. Now these islands are located close to the Indian mainland. So these islands are also part of our country India. So there are two groups of island and what are those Andaman and Nicobar islands in the Bay of Bengal and Lakshwadeep islands in the Arabian Sea. So we have the two groups of islands, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, where in the Bay of Bengal and the Lakshwadeep Islands in the Arabian Sea. So now let us know about the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Now Andaman and Nicobar Islands are two groups of about 300 islands. So Andaman and Nicobar Islands are two groups of about 300 islands where the northern islands are called the Andaman Islands the Northern Islands are called the Andaman Islands and the Southern Islands are called the Nicobar Islands The Southern Islands are called the Nicobar Islands. So the Andaman and Nicobar Islands are two groups of about 300 islands where the Northern Islands are called the Andaman Islands and the Southern Islands are called the Nicobar Islands. Now the capital of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands is Port Blair. 
Now they form a union territory of India. So Andaman Nicobar Island is a part of the union territory of our country, India. Now the southernmost part of the island is called the Indira Point which is the southernmost tip of India. So the southernmost part of the island is the Indira Point and which is the southernmost tip of our country, India. Now, this Indira Point has got submerged. Submerged means that it is now under the water. Why? Because of the tsunami. In 2014, due to the tsunami, the Indira Point got submerged. So what we have learned about the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, these are two groups of about 300 islands. The northern islands are called the Andaman Islands and the southern islands are called the Nicobar Islands. The capital of Andaman and Nicobar Island is Port Blair. They form a union territory of India. The southernmost part of the island is called Indira Point, which is the southernmost tip of our country, India. And this has got submerged underwater due to the tsunami. Now let us move ahead with the Lakshwadeep Islands. The Lakshwadeep. Islands. Now the Lakshwadeep Islands are a group of about thirty islands and only some of these islands are inhabited. Now, what do you mean by inhabited? That means only in some of these islands people are living. So, Lakshmadip Islands are a group of about 30 islands, and only some of these islands are inhabited by the people. Capital of the Lakshmadip Islands is Kavarati. Now the Lakshadip Islands also form a union territory of India. So the Lakshadip Islands also form a union territory of India. Now the Lakshwadip Islands are close to the Malabar coast. I hope all of you remember. Here we have the Malabar coast. So the Lakshwadip Islands are close to the Malabar coast. Now we will see that many of these islands are formed by the deposits of the skeletons of an animal called corals and such Islands are called coral islands. So we can call Lakshwadeep islands as coral islands. So the
the Lakshadweep Islands are also known as the Coral Islands because many of these islands are formed by the deposits of the skeletons of an animal called corals. Now here in Lakshadweep, the climate and the seawater which is required for the growth of the corals are available. That is why we can call Lakshwadeep as the coral islands because as these animals die, their skeletons get deposited and they form the coral islands. So Lakshwadeep is known as the coral islands. So in today's video, what we have learned, we have learned about the island group, we have learned about the Andaman and Nicobar islands and also about the Lakshwadeep islands. I hope all of you understood today what we have discussed in the comment box given below by a comment let me know how did you like the video do you have any problem or you understood the topics very well you can take the help of the pdf that has been attached in the description box which will give you a better understanding of the chapter if you like my video don't forget to hit the like button do share my video with your friends and do subscribe my channel to watch more videos on different topics I will be back soon with the next topic on this chapter. Till then, take care and stay safe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.